Today, of course, is May Day. It's May 1st, so that means Mother's Day is just one short weekend away. So take note, and what better way to impress dear old mom than with a homemade brunch? We got the man to do it. Let's say hi to Hugh Groman from Hugh Groman Catering and from GreenLeafPlatters.com. Hey, good morning. In your house and get ready to cook. What's on the menu? Good morning. Mother's Day brunch. Very excited. Super simple, but very impressive. Um, we've got uh, scrambled eggs with sun-dried tomatoes, fresh goat cheese, and scallions. We've got just some nice toast, like Levain toast, walnut Levain toast, which is, you know, the fancy bread. Uh, I got mine from Acme Bread, the great local bakery. And um, with some fresh strawberries and blueberries that are all ready to go. And first, we're going to make some Vietnamese-style iced coffee. You ready for that? I am. What What is v Vietnamese iced coffee? Does it have... Well, it's sweet? basically just delicious coffee, strong coffee that I just made with uh, just a drip coffee. And, that, and then we put in some sweetened condensed milk. And it is so decadent and delicious. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to pour in the sweetened condensed milk. It's so decadent. That and then... I've had that before. Oh, my God. It's so good. And, and like, it's so easy. And, you know, I mean, it's... People who are trying to cut back on sugar might uh, be a little scared about this, but once in a while, it's gonna go really, really well with the rest of what we're making. So here we go. I'm gonna just pour this over the ice. And, and while you're pouring, yeah. how, many, how many eggs, say you've got a, a, a brunch for four, how many eggs are you gonna throw in? Well, I'm just, uh, for four, I'm gonna do probably about 10 eggs. Um, today, I'm just gonna make uh, okay. enough for two people. So here, let's taste this. What am I going to say, Frank? It's Are delicious. You're say it's delicious and it's delicious. You're ready. So, uh, for the scrambled eggs, I want to show you guys. Um, first, I'm going to get my uh, pan turned up nice and hot. Um, for the scrambled eggs, I want to show you how my father taught me how to crack eggs because I just every time I do it, I think of him, and it's a really sweet little trick. So you take the two eggs and you hit one against the other, and the crazy thing is something to do with the physics of it all only one will ever break. You think, oh no, they're both gonna break in your hands, yeah. but it's all, there's always like some differential in the strength of the eggs, you know, whether it's tiny or or not, and it, it only one ever breaks. So that's really fun. And you do it and at so the I top like to put, of the egg, right? Uh, I do it on the side. I do it on, on the, the side, because that's okay. where I wanna crack the egg. And I'm going really, uh, really light on the half and half. I've experimented with different amounts, but I think just the tiniest bit is, is nice. And then I've got salt and pepper. And then I'm just gonna whisk this up super quick. And then I'm gonna use olive oil today. Sometimes I use uh, butter. I think butter obviously gives a delicious buttery flavor. Um, but also olive oil can be really nice and it, um, it just gives it a more sophisticated flavor. Right, come on with me, I'm gonna go over to the stove and I'm gonna put a little extra virgin olive oil. And then I'm just gonna quickly cook these up. And I'm using a nonstick pan. Generally we don't use nonstick pans in our house because Sometimes we worry about health stuff, but um, but when it comes to scrambled eggs, man, you cannot beat a nonstick pan. And um, I'm just gonna give it a lot of swirling with this wonderful silicone spatula. You know about these, the silicone spatulas? They um, well, they won't melt. They won't melt. Uh, you can find them everywhere now. Look out for a silicone spatula. And so it, it's, it won't melt and it also won't scratch up your pan. So, right? So the pan was nice and hot and look how, fa <laughs> look how fast that was. They're just about I know, done. it's not and even on the burner and you're cooking them up. I'm, I know, I got the pan nice and hot. So I'm giving them, a, um, I'm stirring them regularly to make sure that they cook evenly. And now they're kind of on the wet stage and I think they're good enough. They're kind of French style. And so now I'm just gonna show you how to plate this up. We got scrambled eggs, and then um, I'm gonna put on the goat cheese and the sun-dried tomatoes and the scallions. And the reason why I'm putting them on at the end as opposed to throwing them into the pan is because the heat from the, um, the, heat from the eggs is gonna warm these things up, and I want the beautiful colors and contrasts to show on the plate. And if I mix it all in, it'll become one muddy color. Um, and the goat cheese will kind of will kind of melt in as it's eaten, and then these beautiful scallions. Wow, it's Ooh, all about and the then presentation, I also, right? 
it is. And, and, then, um, and then the toast, here's my little trick of the day. I actually let the toast get cool, even though it's so nice warm. But you know what I hate is when the butter gets all melted on the toast and you don't have that yummy cold butter experience because I want to really taste that mm. butter and I go heavy on the butter. So here it is. We've got, should we do a little taste test? I, I, I'm well, going to say it's delicious whether it is or not. I'm going to tell, I'm going to say it's delicious no matter what. But here, let's You're just. TV savvy that way. You know what though? It is actually delicious. And um, oh, see, it's good. so simple. This is, I mean, look, I mean, I literally was able to make this in three minutes. The prep didn't even take that long. So I think this is a great way to impress the mothers in your life and also make it easy on yourself, which, you know, everybody needs these days. You may want to sneak in a little mimosa too. Mom might like that on a Sunday morning. Mimosas would be good. Or you could put some um, like Baileys in this coffee. Baileys oh, Irish cream. Uh, Wouldn't that be good? Yeah, you got to zip it up a little bit. All right. Well, that's Hugh Groman uh, from Hugh Groman uh, Caters and his website's greenleafplatters.com. Uh, always a pleasure, Hugh. And uh, as our world is getting better, I think soon you will be in our studio cooking up and we can uh, actually taste some of your creations. All the best. That would be Thanks. so exciting. Happy Mother's Day. Thanks, Frank. All right. Mother